Welcome to Cluster Configuration Views. You can integrate the Informatica domain with the Hadoop cluster through Big Data Management. A cluster configuration is an object in the domain that contains configuration information about the Hadoop cluster. The cluster configuration enables the data integration service to push mapping logic to the Hadoop environment. The cluster configuration displays different components which can be accessed in different views. In this video, you will see different cluster configuration views. In Informatica Administrator, click Manage Connections tab. Then, expand the cluster configurations connection and click the cluster configuration object that you see there. Active Properties view enables you to view the cluster configuration details on the right pane. The Active Properties view contains general properties and all runtime properties. General properties include the cluster configuration name, ID, description, distribution type, and the last date of refresh. Runtime properties are organized into configuration sets based on the corresponding star site.xml files on the cluster. The general properties set is expanded to show general property values. You can expand core underscore site underscore XML and then click the overridden properties tab. The overridden properties view displays only properties with overridden values. You can see the core underscore site underscore XML has an overridden value. The overridden properties view includes user defined properties and imported properties that you overrode. The values that appear in the view are the active values. If a property has an overridden value, the data integration service uses the overridden value as the active value. If the property does not have an overridden value, the data integration service uses the imported value as the active value. If you want to edit the cluster configuration, you can access the Edit dialog box for a configuration set on the Active Properties view or the Overridden Properties view. Select the HDFS underscore site underscore XML configuration set. Now click the edit icon associated with the HDFS underscore site underscore XML configuration set. You can enter text dfs.replication.max in the filter text entry pane above any column and then click the filter icon. Edit the property by entering a different value. You can now notice that the overridden value is displayed. You can create user defined properties in the active properties view or the overridden properties view. When you create a user defined property, you configure an overridden value. You cannot configure an imported value in a user defined property. Let's see how you can create a new property. In the Active Properties pane, select the Hive underscore site underscore XML configuration set where you want to create a property. You can edit the Hive underscore site underscore XML configuration set. Enter the property key and the overridden value. After entering the values, you can view the new property added in the list.
After editing and adding a new property, you can also delete, import it, and use a defined properties from a configuration set. In the Active Properties pane, select the Hive underscore site underscore XML configuration set where you want to delete a user defined property. Click the edit icon associated with the Hive underscore site underscore XML configuration set. Select the newly created user defined property hive.runtime.mode.prefix. You can now click the delete button. Notice that the user defined property hive.runtime.mode.prefix has been deleted. It is important to note that the imported properties that you delete will be restored if you refresh the cluster configuration.